<laughs> Welcome to Rona Cisco's Virtual Kitchen. Back in the house with Kraft Heinz. I'm excited. I hope you like that, Chef Elon. Did you like that today? Did you like that little ketchup intro? Pete, ketchup on pizza. Did you see ketchup on pizza? Where else do you put it? Ketchup goes on everything. We're going to show that today. Are you going to show that today? So I'm going to, so first of all, welcome both of you, because I know Chef Thomas is on the camera here. But thanks, Chef Alon and Chef Thomas today to join us and show us all the different ways you can use ketchup. But first, what's the surprise? So we're going to be running a contract, a contest. This is uh, episode. In, in, in the uh, comment section of the videos you're watching, put in your favorite way to use high flavor ketchup. And Jay's going to send out um, five dip dispensers and five of these automatic head ketchup uh, dispensers. So it's pretty cool to have. And all you got to do in the in the comments section of the videos, type in your favorite use for ketchup. I'm going to show you some here today that are a little bit different. Everyone knows the classics. I know uh, Jay had a peek at uh, some of the things we're showing here, and he's like, and he was curious how, how old we are. Because we're, we're we're definitely throwing back some classics here. So, high tomato ketchup, in Chef, my view. Jeff. Yes. First, you have to rub the ketchup bottle before. That's good luck, right, Chef Thomas? That is a fact. So this is our our, our giant ketchup bottle right here, as you can see. Give them a hug. Give them a hug. Give that bottle. Versions of our high tomato ketchup here. Give him a hug. And good for you, Jay. No, I want a hug. That's not a hug. A hug. All right. There we go. go. There we go. That's how you. So, so Tom is shaking. I'm going to tell you a little bit, Jay, about the, about the Heinz ketchup. So, okay. it's a super simple product, only made with five simple ingredients. We've got tomato puree made from fresh tomatoes, sugar, vinegar, salt, spices. That's it. Super simple product, but the most versatile. I can't think of another product that can suit any meal period. You've got breakfast, you have it with your hash brown, some people have it on their eggs. We've got right here, what everybody thinks, don't mess with a good thing, cheeseburger, french fries. Jay, I know you were talking a little bit of smack on my meatloaf here, but yeah. it's glazed in ketchup, there's ketchup on the inside. Everyone's mom made this, it is a classic. Now, I know what you're thinking, Jay, how do we go beyond the normal, beyond the classic? So, Jay, when you think ketchup, what meal part do you think? Give me your answer. Uh, burger. No, the answer is dessert. Oh, so dessert. We, have, we have here, we got ketchup cake. What do you mean dessert? Yeah, absolutely. We have, we have, we have are you doing? Take back dessert for ketchup. It's the only area people don't think, and I need to educate the world here. So okay. this is our ketchup cake. I'm going to slice it here for you. Chef, 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 yes. chef. Chef Thomas is going to taste this for us, right? <laughs> I'll take a big bite. Can't scare me. So think of a nice classic carrot cake, but instead of carrot, we've got Heinz tomato ketchup here. So at the end of the day, let's not forget that a tomato is a fruit. It's sweet. It's delicious. You get the nice tang from the vinegar. You get a nice balance. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a fruit? Ketchup's a fruit. Are we learning something new today, Jay? No, well, maybe. <laughs> so we have, you can see that nice rich red color. And you know what you pair with, um, with a ketchup cake? You're not going to believe this one, Jay. We got ketchup ice cream. No. Yes, absolutely. So this is a super simple preparation. Jeff Thomas, ketchup, Jeff Thomas you know, get a picture of that. You know what's even better? Get a picture of Chef. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me get in here first for you. So this yeah. is straw. This is our Richardson strawberry preserve here. Strawberry topping. This isn't ketchup, but look how beautiful that is. You can't tell me that doesn't look like a world class dessert. And let me give you a little bit of insight here. So this ketchup ice cream. No ice cream machine. No fancy equipment. Just really a mixer. Or if you want to be a hero, you whip that by hand. It's condensed milk, whole milk. 35% cream, a whack of ketchup, a little bit of food coloring. You whip it till it's it's got like nice soft peaks, throw her in the freezer. And I know you don't believe me, but here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here, here we, go. we go, a little bit of ketchup ice cream, a little bit of ketchup cake with my Philadelphia cream cheese icing here. 
Get that? It's delicious. So it is sweet. It's dessert. It tastes like ketchup, but it, it's that rich tomato. It's got that nice balance from the vinegar and the sauce. You almost get like an elevated dessert that, that's got that like hint of vinegar on your strawberries because it's all in there. And you're just looking at something a super fun, super playful, and just shows the versatility. Because now we can say ketchup has hit every part of your meal. You can have it for breakfast, you can have it for your, for your burgers, put it on your meatloaf for, for, for your dinner, and you can have it for dessert. So I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> One of the and like another really cool part with Heinz tomato ketchup, because it's such a iconic brand, like when you think ketchup in your head, your mind thinks that the, your mind goes to this one. The first thing people say when they when you hear ketchup, this pops into their head. Super classic, but then we also have everything for operators' needs, right? We've got this is this is actually a very cool little sachet here. This is our dip and squeeze. You can rip the top off. And you can squirt it, or you peel it back and you dip. That's really cool. Oh man, those are all. You know, what, first of all, those are my favorite. With Katie, yeah, I don't, they're all. We got favorite. we got mini bottles, Jay. We've got jumbo packs to not have waste. So you you if if, if, if you don't want to be giving lots of little packets, fewer big packets, fewer plastic out in the world. Never a bad thing. We've got dispensers, and Heinz isn't just ketchup. You can see here, we've got the mayo, we've got mustard, we have all that extra good stuff. But really, today is about ketchup, so that's where we're going to focus. So what we're going to do next, Jay, if that's if it's all right with you, we'll cut the commercial, and I'm going to come back, and we're going we're, we're, we're to cook with some ketchup. How's that sound? You're going to cook with ketchup? Yeah, you're going to see all the different ways to use it. You know, I, I'm blown away, first of all, by that ice cream. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> I just, I'm blown away. You guys killed it. Awesome. We'll be right back. Heinz Craft. Craft Heinz. Can we call it Heinz Craft today? Just because it's ketchup. Oh, sir. Craft Heinz forever. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. Looking for staff training? Food cost advantages? Interested in robotics for your business? Cisco Advantage features best in class companies to make sure you have the right tools to optimize your business and increase traffic. We have negotiated exclusive Cisco discounts with business partners to help you compete, stay in the game, and focus on what you do best. Our collection of offerings includes specialized services, technology, tools and personalized consultations designed to make you more efficient, increase your profits, and make it easier for you to manage your operations. Visit cisco.ca or speak with your Cisco representative to learn more. Awesome. We're back with the SDK Network with Kraft Heinz. Chef Alan, I got to ask you this question here first before you get into cooking. Absolutely. Is Heinz ketchup the first plant-based ingredient ever? I mean, it, it, it is plant-based. It's not something people think about. It, Take that title. It checks so many boxes. It's plant-based. It's perfectly balanced. It, it's the ultimate sauce. Ketchup doesn't get the respect that it deserves. That's a uh, humble opinion, but I think it's true. I think you guys should take that title. You were the first plant-based before plant-based was cool. That's right. That's that, that's, that's a great call out. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, no so, worries. I worked on that all day. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do next here, we're going to make a ketchup-based pad thai sauce. So think pad thai, you think, you think tamarind, you think that rich flavor, but that, that similar flavor is the ketchup profile. So if you're out there and you want to do a feature, you want to do an LTO, but you don't want to bring in, you know, a big brick of tamarind, you don't think you're ever going to use it, you can get something pretty authentic based with ketchup. So we're going to do a quick mix in here. We've got our Heinz tomato ketchup. We've got our brown sugar, our fish sauce here, our garlic, some chili flake, some soy sauce. Gonna hit it with, squeeze a lime here. And we're not gonna forget here, a craft peanut butter. Pad Thai is typically loaded with the roasted peanuts. So we're gonna amplify this and keep that here all in the sauce. 
quick mix in here, and then Jeff's going to move you to the pad thai here. Classic pad thai in the in, in the pot. We've got our noodles, we've got our egg, we've got some shrimp, some, some roasted peanuts here. Just going to get her all in like that. What was the first time you had your first ketchup experience? I'm sure I don't even remember. So when when, we, when my family came to Canada, okay. our our meal of choice, honestly, hot dogs, ketchup. When I was three years old, that's what I that, that, that's what I remember asking for nonstop. All I would eat for a good chunk of my of, of my like childhood there would be ketchup and hot dogs. I did. Evolved from that, I must say, but that that did sustain my youth. Here. I was so, gonna say, I think Heinz fed a lot of kids, and if you know, like, absolutely, you think you think picky kids don't like anything, you know, the one thing they all love, ketchup, ketchup. right? So, like, exactly. if they won't eat anything but ketchup's on the list, you know, there's something right there. So, look at this we have a delicious pad thai. Oh, shut up. All the classic ingredients. You can't tell me that's not the bang on color of the dish. That we're taking a bit of a speed scratch shortcut here using ketchup as the base that really doesn't require any special ingredients, anything that you know you don't have in your kitchen that you couldn't just whip up and have as an LTO, make a big batch of sauce and have everything ready to go. Hey, chef. And, yes, sir. Sorry, interrupt. What's the what's the giveaway again today? The giveaway today. So put it put, put in the comments while while you're watching the video. Your favorite use for high tomato ketchup, whether it's off the wall cake and ice cream, plastic cheeseburger with ketchup, and we're and Jay's gonna send out uh, five of our dip stations here to go with our dip cups and five of our automatic dispensing bulk ketchup units. Right, and all they got to do is throw a comment in here and tell us their favorite. Yeah, tell us, their, tell, tell, tell us their favorite use for high tomato ketchup. Okay. And we're gonna do <laughs> another <laughs> couple quick builds here. I'm just sorry, for, what? I'm having a freaking great day. This no, guy's look, a look, when you're playing with ketchup, you're always having a good time. So the yeah. next thing people always think of something premium, something delicious. It's shrimp. It's shrimp cocktail. How do you make a cocktail sauce? What's the number one ingredient? I just tomato ketchup, right? You're taking premium shrimp, a nice expensive item that people expect quality. You need a quality ketchup to make your cocktail sauce. And it is super simple. So we've got our highest tomato ketchup. Going to hit it with a nice spoon of my horseradish here. Little bit of hot sauce. Not going to use it all. My secret orange zest and we're going to keep this pg-13 here not going to have any any alcohol but if you want to infuse it with your favorites you can a little bit of orange here some lemon our lee and perrin's worcestershire sauce glad i didn't I'm mess up that word right now because that's a highlight of my day not gonna lie Ah, quick, quick mix in here, and you have yourself a classic cocktail sauce that can be paired with, you know, premium shrimp that, you know, everyone knows out there, costs are going up and up. You need to make sure when you're serving something like a piece of shrimp, if you're doing a shrimp cocktail, you're using a, a great base for your ketchup here, being isolated ketchup. That is, that's the go-to there for cocktail sauce. And if you're out there and you want to be making, you want to make your own ketchup. You want something that's unique to your operation, unique to your to your restaurant. I would say you start with Heinz tomato ketchup and you do a quick speed scratch. So it's all over Germany right now, super popular. It's currywurst. So what? they make a curry ketchup, serve it on nice bratwurst, some caramelized onions or sauerkraut. I'm just going to show you guys a quick a quick curry burst and a quick curry ketchup. So here we have Good. our our Heinz tomato ketchup right here. Here's my spice blend. I've got some garam masala, some uh, curry powder, tur uh, turmeric, paprika. Chef, get what's, Chef, what's garam masala? 
Garam masala, it's an Indian spice blend. Um, traditionally, it's got some cardamom, some clove, lots of other spices. Every every brand or blend of garam masala is going to be a little bit unique and different. And it really fits home here in a curry ketchup. So what we do here, we mix that in. You get that nice, rich color. And you can see that it is thickening up a little bit more than you would expect from a ketchup. So what we do here, we take some beef broth, adjust our consistency till we get that nice... The nice ketchup consistency that everybody knows and loves because if ketchup's wrong, nobody's happy. A little bit of Worcester again. And now we have a nice curried ketchup. Curry ketchup. You can do a gokujang. You can do a maple. Like ketchup as a, a base for like getting people to try different dips, different flavors, and all that stuff is a great starting point. As, as, as a vehicle to just amp up flavors, try something new, because it's ketchup. People know ketchup, people love ketchup, and if you want to give them roast garlic ketchup, a gokujang ketchup, a sesame ketchup, it's just as easy as a mix it. And you still have that fantastic texture and consistency here of Heinz tomato ketchup that we just took for a speed scratch. You've got this here right over our right over our sausages and you've got something unique rich and flavorful that you saw me throw together in a, in a, in, a, in about 30 seconds right so you can get all those fun new flavors explore the world just from that bottle of ketchup i think i think there's no easier way to get interesting flavors interesting burgers unique things to your locations and still play with a premium product. Because when you're going for speed scratch, you're making something that's your own, you really got to start with high quality ingredients. When you start with a great tasting Heinz ketchup, it's a perfect canvas for you to be inspired, create your own items and your own, and your own flavors that you, that you know your customers. I love it, Chef. Oh, it's perfect. And, and, and any other questions you have about my ice cream or my cake? Because I, I feel I kind of blew your mind. No, 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 no. I want you to dive into that meatloaf. I can do that. I want to see that. Okay, first of all, can you just do a little, like, scrape with a little bit of the top for us? Yeah, so this is a basic ketchup glaze, right? It's yeah. ketchup, brown sugar, little little red wine vinegar. Okay, well, we'll keep... inside the meatloaf, we've got more ketchup we've got worcestershire we've got a little bit of eggs some binder one second let me just get this in my face the binder look at that see that's 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 how you do it man it's tangy it's sweet it's just got a great ketchup flavor and it, it tastes like home. This is this is tastes like my, my my childhood from when I graduated from hot dogs and ketchup. This is how I guess my mom got me into uh, expanding <laughs> my portfolio here is just throwing ketchup into ground beef, making a meatloaf. Again, kids love this because kids love ketchup. They hate everything else, but ketchup's on the list. So I am blown get the right there. You know what? You guys brought your A game today, big time. This is awesome stuff. I love it. I love it. I, I, I love your ideas. I love them. No, thanks so much for having me, Jay. Thanks, everybody, for joining. This is uh, Alon from Away From Home. Oh, 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 oh. Before you go. Yes, sir. How can I win what? All right, let's do this again. Put in the comments your favorite use for ketchup. On a burger, on a dog, on a meatloaf, cocktail sauce. Google how to make ketchup ice cream. You're not going to be disappointed. And we will send out five of our dip zones to contain our Heinz dips and five of our automated head dispensers for our Heinz ketchup. And, and you don't have to you just move your hand over top and it goes, look at that. Look at that. Yes. Yeah, so you can see here, we're not going to show you the mess we just made. We'll just keep that up on board because we didn't have anything underneath it. <laughs> but that's how it works. You just scan your hand over and it dispenses the ketchup. We're still coming out of COVID here, so making sure that if you have a bulk dispenser out there, no one's, we're trying to eliminate contact. And what's nice about the sensor, you can clean the top and it doesn't go off. The sensor is pretty clever. You know, 
You know what? I just thanks again, both of you. And I know Chef Thomas is on the camera there today, scared um, to be on camera. But I just thank you both so much for all the stuff you've done over this past year. This is our last show as we break it from the summer and get into season three this fall. But thanks again to both of you and all the hard work you've done. There isn't been a show you have not come with your A game. Always blow me away. Even when even when you have to take over the show and I you can't hear from me, you guys still nailed it. And I just can't thank you enough. Great partnership. It's great to be here. Great to share our products with the world out there. Awesome. So, thanks again, James. A blast. No problem. For everyone else, we're back later today with Influencer Fridays. But anyways, thanks again, gentlemen, and everyone else. Get out there and eat. Not in a box. Get out there and dine out tonight. Right? Go to a movie and go grab some tea. Anyways, thanks so much, Chef. Chef Thomas, give me a wave. Give me a wave on your camera. <laughs> there we go. There he is. Right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Cheers.